Hello there guys, Kirk and Carl here and family with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today what I want to do is explain bucket scoops. What is a bucket scoop? Well, here's a bucket, here's a scoop, bucket scoop. Uh, we've been using these for years because a lot of products come in buckets. All of our acrylics, it doesn't matter if it's uh, uh, Drive-It, um, Perex, La Habra, BMI, uh, all of them come in buckets and what we do is we use a bucket scoop and we remove the, the plaster, put it on our hocks and we plaster with it. Now, a fellow who said, well, gee, I, got a I want to buy a steel one. What do you recommend? Well, I didn't, I've never used a steel one, so I ordered one. And here's my tip, guys. Uh, this steel one, um, oh, man, it's heavy. I mean, okay, for example, this little bitty green one, I can use two fingers and hold it out all day long. This bigger white one, I could use two fingers and hold it out all day long. They don't sell these anymore, by the way. Why? Because uh, a fella broke his wrist using it because he said it was, uh, it was too heavy. Anyway, they sued this company. This is what my buddy uh, Tom Veretta from Westside Buildings told me. He's the salesman. He told me that and I thought, shut the front door, really? Anyway. Um, these, these, I used to love these right here because you take one big scoop out and you're done. So they sell these now, guys. If you're interested in these little bitty guys, which are really handy, and I've come uh, pretty fond of this little one here. I actually like it bigger than the white one now. But you can just go online and hit bucket scoop, and there's all kinds of companies selling it. This particular one here, <laughs> remember I was holding that with two fingers? I can't hold this with two fingers. In fact, that front is extremely heavy. Uh, and I've got strong forearms. Not only are my forearms strong, I mean, I'm a Chaco's expert. I used to use Chaco sticks when I was growing up, and I still do. I even made an iron pair where I cut a weightlifting bar, cut it, and did two bars, and I'd practice with that. Give me big forearms, and it, it really increased my strength. Why? Because I was a kid, and I used to love that stuff. Anyway, this particular scoop, now that I've got it, I don't advise anybody. I mean, uh, I wouldn't buy it. Uh, I did buy it, but we're, we're going to chuck it in the garbage. Anyway, here's what I, I like these plastic ones. You just tap it. Everything pops right off because nothing adheres to, or stucco doesn't adhere to plastic for long, especially with vibration. Anyway, to prove a point, I'm going to wet this here. And, well, actually, I'm going to use this bigger one here. I'm going to wet this bigger one because I'm impatient. Now. The design of this particular, all these bucket scoops are, they go exactly with the bucket. So it is designed that it fits this bucket perfectly. And in fact, it fits the bottom perfectly. So you can clean a bucket almost spotless. The only thing you're going to have in here is color from the uh, whatever mud you're using. I'll give you an example, guys. Okay, here we're getting ready to uh, use a, uh, some mud on here. Now this is just Portland cement. We're just going to do a scratch coat. But this Portland cement, say for example, can you come up up here a little bit, Carl, and kind of aim into it? Now it doesn't matter which scoop I use. This one, they're all designed to form perfectly to these buckets. You'll see a lot of guys, they'll cut the bucket and put a handle, a stick, and put a couple screws, and they use the bucket. But here's what I'll do, guys. I'll show you just to prove a point. We take it out. You see how? And I'm going to put it in this bucket here. We take it out and put it here. I'm actually going to put this on the wall in a minute, but just to prove a point, you see how that comes out really nice? We, we just, boom. No, normally I'm pulling it out and putting it on my hawk. Okay, just want to show you how effective these are. Now, at the very bottom, you see that? I'm cleaning this bucket now. See how clean that is, but I'll even go one further. Come up to the bottom, to the bottom, bottom and pull it up, bottom and pull it up. Okay, that bucket, whether or not it's an acrylic or stucco, is pretty clean. If you're up on three stories of scaffolding or anywhere high, you can't bring a board and stand out there, say like that stand we have over here. See that stand over here with the board? You simply can't do it, guys, so you're going to need a bucket with 
a bucket scoop. Otherwise, you do it the old-fashioned way like we used to do with a hawk and trowel. Take forever. Anyway, guys, I thought I'd point that out because a fella did say, hey, Kirk, give me your opinion on these bucket scoops. You go online, type in bucket scoop, buy the one you want. Oh, Kirk recommends a plastic one. And you're going to end up with something like this. These steel ones, I wouldn't do it. Anyway, my name is Kirk. We thank you for watching. And as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching. And I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. one.